One of the things I actually thought about the, for the longest time and could never figure out why, how to achieve the third party sellers of these like premium cur currencies for any other like, gacha game for example. How do they sell us at like such a huge discount? Are they using some kind of illegal method that I'm not too sure about? Or what is the exploit and how do they actually make the money? Uh, I, this one was actually credited to you guys. Uh, some of you are very, very supportive members of the community. I did my previous video talking about which is like the most efficient pack to buy in terms of the dollar is to the amount of uh, currency that we get. This video is really a follow up to that based on the comments that I've read as well. Uh, how actually some of you are uh, saving a lot of money for yourself if you are paying uh, any money through the shop as well. I'm going to put this as a little bit of a grey area because the method that we're going to be using today is the method of changing your IP. And I think some of you kind of know where I'm going on already. Uh, if you take your laptop in your current country and go over across and connect to a different Wi-Fi, you actually will connect to a different IP. For example, if you're in the United States, you go to Canada, you bring your laptop over and connect there, your, you will likely see these prices in Cana Canadian dollars instead of US dollars. And likewise, if you're from Singapore, you bring your laptop over to Malaysia and vice versa, you get the different currency. What this means is it's much difficult uh, for the game developers to check. Of course, if you are teleporting from Japan to US in like the matter of split second, Second, I think it's easier to detect but I think in the long run a lot of these uh, third-party developers are much smarter maybe they close their whole entire app they open it up after a certain period of time to prevent detection and how you actually want to do this like changing this thing I can just show you real quick I'm just gonna log out and what I have here is a VPN you can really get almost any single VPN there are like tons of free VPNs online you can just search it up uh, I'll advertise like, whatever I'm using towards the end. I don't want to like, bore you with a lot of stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to basically switch over to Malaysia real quick uh, using this VPN. Just do a quick Google search like free VPNs to use if you uh, don't care too much about security or anything. And uh, now as you can see I'm connected to Malaysia. And let's hop back in and you will see the screen that was available now. So as you can see, that took a little while to register and loads and now we are in Ringgit. As you can see here, the Malaysian Ringgit, the currency in Malaysia as well. Go towards the Oineric Pouch, the exact same rate. So if we take like the most expensive pack here, the 99.9 uh, US dollar one and we convert it actually, just ignore this part here, the screenshot doesn't update. We focus on these two numbers here. We actually get uh, $100 is to 464 and if we compare 464, uh, is to this number here we actually get a saving of like 70 uh, malaysian ringgit which if you convert it back i think it's somewhere like maybe 20 to 30 us dollars around there they're about so it's actually a 20 to 30 percent saving just on this currency alone just the differences uh, some of you quicker ones might be smart to notice like uh, how do you actually like if you put pay with your credit card or your debit card you're still going to get a conversion through your bank and they might not charge you the rates that you see as we saw on the screenshot in like google uh, finance for example like searching out on the google uh, on google search as well so i'm going to actually be sharing with you the second tip on how you can actually combo both together to guarantee yourself the savings and maximize the savings and that trick actually comes with using an international wallet that anyone can do for free is by an international company called wise Okay, now we can see in this uh, video here, I don't have any Malaysian Ringgit at all. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to top up uh, for the sake of this video as well. I'm going to show you and as you can see, there are some transactions I did in the past as well for some other game that I cover on my secondary channel. I'm going to hit add in and I'll show you the conversion as well for using this WISE app. Okay, so now very quickly, I just topped up the amount in my WISE card. I have uh, almost 400 Malaysian Ringgit. And we can just see, for example, if I take all of this and I wanted to convert it back to US dollars here, I'll be actually getting um, the, the, the market rates that we are seeing on Google Finance. So I'll just go open up Google Finance again. I'm going to be searching uh, 399.99 Malaysian Ringgit to US dollars. This is uh, directly from Google, whatever we are seeing. Let me just take a screenshot uh, real quick as well. So as we can see, like I'm taking this from Google Finance. Uh, it's pretty much the same. It's almost uh, exactly what we are getting. If you were to use a credit card, you probably will get a much a hefty f uh, fee. The difference here is one US dollar. You're getting one dollar less, but of course you save a lot more. So as you can see, the their fee here they charge you about uh, two point five eight, which is about fifty cents to one dollar US dollar. I think it's very worth it considering uh, the amount of savings that you get. These are actual rates that are available. I can immediately press com uh, continue just to demonstrate that I'm not uh, showing you anything that's incorrect. I'll just click here, convert. And as you can see, like in my wallet straight away, I get this uh, 84.98 as well. I just move this over to my wallet. 
Uh, there are many many things. I think it's a really solid uh, wallet to have. You can then of course uh, take this wallet and go back into the game, the menu right here, and then you can just straight away purchase, link it up like a normal card that you have. They do send you cards you can apply to. There are some other competitors as well. I like Wise because I find them uh, much more uh, transparent. They are a European company as well, so they have a lot more ethics uh, built into the business as well. I support them. I have been using them for quite a while. Any of my international travels, I use them as well. Uh, that is how I actually save a lot on exchange rates. If you're making any overseas purchases, I highly do recommend you use an international wallet. You don't have to use the ones I recommend. I personally use it a lot. And if you are willing to like help support the uh, channel using our affiliate link, we do get a bit of kickback from it when uh, more downloads as well. I'll leave the links in the video description. And the VPN I use, as mentioned at the start, I use a NordVPN. It's very, very safe, very international. As we can see here, they have many, many servers worldwide, like over 60 servers uh, internationally. Uh, it's very solid. You might have to pay a bit of fee but uh, they do offer you a lot of security as well because your search history or whatever you want to do on uh, the using the VPN they don't save it some people I think were taken to court and the courts couldn't extract information that's how good the security is on this uh, platform they have a bit of like malware detection as well very very fast very good response I've been using it for almost two to three months uh, well, I, I started it started downloading it for blue protocol to play uh, to, to proxy through Japan as well so that's also very useful if you want to play any overseas games that are limited in like Japan or maybe US and stuff like that. I think it's something worth considering. Uh, I don't swipe on my main account in case any Hoyoverse employees are looking at. Uh, if I did swipe on my sub accounts, I think that uh, I would get the feedback or the, the price of a subscription within three swipes or so. Uh, so I do think it's a lot of a return, especially since it's a two year plan that I subscribe on. I think it's very solid. If you are willing to support the channel, you want to do this method as well and save some money, do consider giving us a bit of kickback. You don't have to, but it'll be really nice if you supported the channel too. And if you appreciate such random content that I made, uh, just any Anything else that I find for us gamers as well, do leave a like, subscribe and leave a nice comment as well on how you found this video as well. Thank you so much for watching and check on these two other videos I think you might be interested in as well. See you in the next video.